All right, son. So it's actually a national holiday. It's give a dollar to someone today day, my nigga. I don't even know how to say what I just said, but go ahead and give a dollar to someone who needs it, who doesn't need it. Somebody might want to go buy a cherry Coke out the vending machine. Shit, a homeless person under the bridge in New Orleans or something like that. I'm just talking about go to Skid Row or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, a prostitute. Oh, fuck that shit. I don't want no pee. Nigga, I don't want your bitch. Pull up in an old ass ish. Big body, no four ish. Shit, with the lift up, kid. Yeah. Repair Jason yourselves. versus it's time Michael we Myers. Tell the tale of Crystal Lake's mass <laughs> murderer, Jason Voorhees. And the horrifying boogeyman of Haddonfield, Michael Myers. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick! No! And it's our job to bring terror and fright on this Halloween night on Death Battle. Um. Within the woods of Crystal Matter Lake fact, lurks a up. killer, hold buried up. but hold not up. dead, doomed to rise from the grave and slaughter those. All right, the shit just went. Bro, who's gonna win this one? Jason. You can't kill Jason. Michael Myers is human. You can kill Michael Myers, even though he teleports and all this wooty woo. You can still kill him. They literally just kill. I'm, I'm not trying to spoil. I just basically spoiled. They killed that nigga Michael Myers, bro. He's old. Wrinkled so old live balls, and man. Uh, love, if you know what I mean. This is the curse of Jason Voorhees. Jason's not a human. Rumor I don't know what it, that nigga is. He was a deformed child, bullied and harassed all of his life, only cared for by his single mother. But not even Mama Voorhees could save Jason when he tragically drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. Or did he? This nigga went to space! Jason went to space, bro! You can't tell me this nigga's not cold. He went to space, came to Earth, came back from hell? Bro, Jason went to the space. Over time, Crystal Lake became wrought with strange disappearances and violent bro. deaths, including the camp counselors who should have been watching Jason when he drowned all those years ago. Bro, he Someone killed Freddy Krueger! Or something, dot, 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 was out for vengeance. And yet these harrowing murders were committed by none other than Jason's bad, own being mother, Pamela Voorhees, seeking revenge against those who neglected her child, dooming him to his terrible end. That actually makes a lot of sense G good for her I, I guess however even after her killing spree was cut short the deaths continued yeah. nobody could prove it but maybe just maybe she got executed. jason was still alive holy shit yeah he's definitely alive that scene Wait, scared the shit out of has me has he been living in the lake this whole time jason has fortitude far beyond any normal man you can swing an axe in his face blast half his body away or trap him in an exploding building yet it will all be in vain even For when nothing. one of the few survivors of his attacks hacked him to pieces jason rose again seriously this happens a lot nobody knows the true source of his unkillable nature some say it's an indigenous curse others say it's the necronomicon and some even say it's, it's gotta be. a hell worm so not too many reasonable answers either way be careful or you just might end up on the wrong side of jason's trusty machete Mink. something he uses with enough strength to split skulls and pierce metal even when jason has no weapon he can be resourceful and oddly creative with his kills he might bludgeon you to death with a <laughs> sleeping bag that. drown you in a garbage <laughs> can or crazy. snap you in half between a bedfold worst of all nah not only a garbage can i'm pretty sure that was a garbage can full of acid if i'm if i'm if i'm drown you in a garbage can or snap you in half between a bedfold worst of all this demented mama's boy will always get his prey Oh, you think you can run away? Well, think again, idiot. He can teleport. Dumbass. No, he can't. Oh, yeah. Yes, he well, can. How about the time he appeared in multiple places at once around this dance floor? He can literally See? teleport, Teleporting. Bro. Wrong. Hallucinations resulting from a mix of cocaine and panic. Okay, smartass. How about when he teleported from one end of this ship to another? How'd he get there? <laughs> Actually, when watching the full scene for complete context, there is plenty of time afforded for Jason to jump down the deck while off camera. He can tell he is quite athletic after all. What, without making any sound? The guy's- Bro, they put it in the Friday the 13th game that Jason can literally teleport from place to place, bro. Don't tell me anything otherwise is canon, bro. Built like he's made of a hundred brick else. houses. Are we watching the same movie? Look, fans have argued this for years, and while admittedly those moments are questionable, they're not enough to prove actual teleportation. Okay, how about this one? In Jason X, where three soldiers are shooting him straight on, Jason X and he just no? disappears. Poof! 
like, gone. Well, I liked it, but right at him, goddammit, it's teleporting. Well, I, I'm sure there's a logical explanation. I just stared at this scene while processing 900 trillion frames per second, and Boomstick is correct. Ha! Also, now my eyes are broken. Joy. You know, uh, Jason can actually teleport in the video game, so uh, I believe it. I suppose teleporting would explain how, despite his hulking size, Jason can move with ghostly silence and pick off victims one by one. Are you sure about this, dummy? Basically. Isn't Jason dummy. like eight foot, nine foot? Either way, Jason- hey, Um, I'm surprised they didn't put that kill where Jason stuck that bitch's face in like, um, uh, carbohydrates or whatever the fuck she got her face stuck in and then um i believe it was nitrate or some shit like that and you know jason rolls her face Jason's unstoppable oh, bloodlust makes him a that horrifying hole. threat even if you think you're protected by a foot of solid steel he'll just crash through it to stab you and though it's tough to believe there may actually be a deadlier jason out there too stronger faster and campier this is uber jason Rebuilt from Jason's remains through a sinister fusion of science and mysticism. And guess what? Normal Jason later fought Uber Jason and actually held his own. And yeah, the comics get kind of wacky, just go with it. Only natural for a monster that has fought other supernatural entities. Like Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, and the groovy man himself, Ash Williams. Indeed. So be warned, if you ever see a shadow moving through the darkness and, and hear a familiar... <laughs> Run. Yes, uh, Jason is out to find you, and chances are you are not leaving alive. The voodoo man. Jason's winning. I don't care. Jason's winning. On a bleak Halloween night, Michael Myers was born into the world as a seemingly normal child. The thing is with Michael Myers, bro, he doesn't scare me. He's a normal serial killer. He just has super crackhead steroided strength. However, beneath that's, his pale blank face hid something dark. And can something. teleport somehow. Evil. How evil? S5 gunshots. Well, he stabbed his sister Judy to death when he was just six years old. Oh, what a rascal. Michael was institutionalized at a sanitarium where he simply sat still, almost like a machine. His psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis, spent eight years trying to reach him, but Michael never said a word. But even when locked up, he still managed to get away with several murders, including Loomis's fiance. There was no helping or stopping Michael. More than anything, bow, bow, he wanted bow. to kill. As a kid. After 15 years, the night before Halloween, he broke out of the sanitarium, leaving behind one word. Sister. The story goes Michael had another sibling, Lori, and for some unknowable reason, <laughs> he wanted her to suffer the same fate as Judy. And everyone else, really. Uh, he's not too picky. And he could do it, too. For in his hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Countless Ew. reports of various murders have appeared across Haddonfield. He's exploded heads, boiled people alive, and used his trademark knife to stab poor souls to walls like some macabre piece of art. He when always they does say that. to admire your work, I don't think this is what they meant. And this isn't some special combat knife or dagger. He did this with an ordinary kitchen knife. Michael is also surprised surprisingly clever, despite being confined for nearly all his life. At some point, he apparently taught himself how to drive. It's pretty clear this masked psycho was- Is it really that hard to teach yourself how to drive? Is it really that hard to drive? Bro, I was driving at a young age. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was driving whenever I was like 12, bro. I'm gonna just keep it a beam, bro. I was tall, bro. I was tall enough to reach the pedal, you know what I'm saying? So was definitely plotting something while he was in the ward. All these kills were just a detour to his ultimate goal, Laurie. On an all too familiar Halloween night, he finally met his long lost sister and nearly killed her. But nearly. Loomis intervened, shooting Michael and sending him out a window. Phew, well, guess that's the end of him. Yeah, you know it's not. No one knows how, but the body simply vanished, only Double to return force, later that night as if nothing had happened. There's a reason why they call him the Boogeyman. Even after being set on fire and rendered comatose, Michael Myers would not be stopped. Almost like he's some kind of invincible undead monster. Many explanations have been given for Michael's strange abilities, but some less reputable sources suggest he's bound to the ancient druidic Curse of Thorn. 
whose symbol is, well, they say it's an ancient icon of Halloween, but it's actually the Norse rune for Thor, sometimes called the Thorn Rune. I think they just Googled rune and thorn and called it a day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Michael Myers a, a Viking? Yes! Awesome! <laughs> <clears throat> curse or no curse, Michael Bro, is imagine. inexplicably driven to kill without hesitation, Pulls and his hammer. victims almost never see him coming. <laughs> you said, uh oh. Hey, still that nigga switch well, is solid. Explaining Michael away with a vague curse is nothing more than a crutch for the truth. The fact of the matter is, no one knows why he is so cruel, so violent, so Damn. unstoppable. He just is. At the end of the day, evil gives no explanation, only despair. Michael thrives not just on the satisfaction of murder, but the fear it inflicts in others. Even scarier, his kills are done with surgical precision. He can murder you as quickly or slowly as he wants. This guy knows exactly what he's doing with that kitchen knife. He's like a hibachi chef of death. And yet, his attacks were almost brought to an end by Laurie herself. But when the time came for the final blow, Michael proved his intelligence and wit by faking his own death using a body double. Oh! See, the only thing that was smart about this scene was that she actually went for the head. The thing is, with Michael Myers, nobody ever tries to knock this nigga's head off. No one ever tried to blow his head off, bro. What's up with people? Do y'all not know everything dies when you cut the head off? Except like a xenomorph or some shit? I don't know. Oh, well, while getting his sister to commit murder for him. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. He's also either impossibly sneaky or he can use uh, teleportation because creepy. he once moved through a yard full of motion sensors without setting off a single one until he wanted to. Look at this. There's just no stopping him. Fill him full of bullets. Michael will come back ready to rip off your head. Put him in the center of an exploding church. He'll survive and go on to kill dozens more people just for dramatic effect. It was this relentless evil that made the people of Haddonfield go ballistic and band together to end Michael Myers once and for all. Unfortunately, the town would soon realize that was just not possible. Any ordinary person would have been long dead after what he yeah, experienced, he but he took Everybody all of there. the town's punishment got right back up and went right back to doing what he does best. And you know what's the creepiest part about all this? They never caught him. He's still out there looking for his next prey, I assume. So every Halloween night, lock your doors, turn off your lights, and pray you'll make it to morning. Because the boogeyman is real, and his name is Michael Myers. Still not being Jason. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by no! Babel. It's days like these that wish I could sail the French Riviera. Speaking no, no, no. This episode is sponsored by Better Oh my God, a second one? In life all the time, bro, y'all get too risky with this shit, bro. Chill out. Terror runs free. Let's see which monster will stalk another day. It's time for a spooky death battle. <laughs> that looks scary as shit. I'm not going to lie. What Michael Myers is doing. Mother All right, talking to you. my money on Jason. I'm the donating thirty thousand dollars to everybody in the comment eyes. section and everybody who likes this video. If Jason loses, Kill her. is this a Friday the Thirteenth game? Don't let Jason mom come in his head whenever he's losing, bro. It's like him going Super Saiyan or some shit. Okay. Basic shit. Basic. Man, he eating that, bro. Alex, where are you? We gotta go! Nah, uh, you know what happens to black people in horror movies. Same thing that happens to white people. They die, nigga! But they're usually the first ones. How did he just survive that? An axe to the back? That's crazy. 
That shock must have been. That man tried to steal your kill. <laughs> Why he so focused on killing him? What did he do? It's because, bro, I'm not even gonna say it, bro. Kill him, Jason. Kill him. What I said. Make mother proud. Nah, that's not gonna kill Jason. That can Jason can take that. You can't. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's done. He's done. It's over with. Jason wins. He always goes for the head. He did it with Freddy, and he did it with show bitch ass. Michael. And split your cranium in half. That's a cold ass Mortal Kombat finish. That's a fatality, bro. KO! Okay. Are we sure he's dead? You can't be too careful with these guys. Michael no Myers won't be head, rising bro. from the grave this time. Jason was too much for him. The stories may paint these slashers as unstoppable, but they do have limits and can be understood. To Michael's credit, he could match Jason in a lot of ways. Both were experts in methods of killing, and both could totally teleport. Theoretically. Though if both of them really could teleport, then neither had an advantage in that regard. So teleportation deniers can rest easy knowing it wasn't really a factor here. Even the explosions they both survived were similar in size and destructibility. But Jason held the edge with his superior endurance and healing. Michael faking his death with a body double was clever, but he did it because he explicitly could not survive something like decapitation or getting half his torso exactly, blown off. Exactly, bro. But Jason could. He also had more experience fighting other supernatural enemies like Leatherface, Freddy, and his uber self. So I doubt Michael could have surprised him with something he's never seen before. And Jason was just as strong and vicious as Michael, if not more. So given the difference in survivability, he had a much better chance of striking Michael down first it, let's just get this out like thrown in everybody's face let's kick the elephant's ass out the room okay if michael myers was fighting spacex jason this wouldn't have been as long as it was actually you know when it, it would have been shorter my nigga this would have been the length of a normal ass tiktok bro seriously in a battle jason between X two unkillable up. monsters it's only natural it would come down to who was more unkillable after being ripped to pieces michael could now rip in peace Right, Jocelyn? Yeah. Why you got a shotgun as a peg, no. like, bro? Like the the winner is Jason Voorhees. I'm a proud father. Yeah, I'm the father of Jason Voorhees. Oh. <gasps> All right, make sure your bed is made, teeth brushed, and ass clean. You already know what it is, bro. Y'all go have a good day. Have a good day and have a good afternoon also because why not, bro? I mean, if you're not having a good afternoon, then your night's probably going to be shitty. And then whenever your night's shitty and then you wake up the next morning, bro, your day is going to start off really, really bad unless you started with a complete balanced breakfast. Then, you know, that's pretty good. Then that might clear up your day for the rest of the other days and then so on and so forth. Just keep that consistency going and y'all should have a pretty good week, I believe. And uh, make sure y'all follow your dreams too. You don't know what the next move that you could make. That will change your life. You really don't. So, um, yeah, I hope to catch y'all in the next video, bro. Peace.